I became, I always wanted to be a mom, I always wanted to experience the whole process, even the becoming pregnant and the whole thing. I laughed, my, per, my first pregnancy, I laughed for eight months. I did. I laughed. I, uh, until the eighth month, and then nothing was funny. Because I, I wanted my body back. I couldn't, there was no comfortable position to sleep in. There was nothing, there weren't enough pillows in the world. Um, I remember the night uh, that I went into labor. I, I woke straight up, I, I woke up and I, you know, I just thought I had to go to the bathroom. But it was more than that. And he woke straight up. I mean, he sat up and looked at me and said, are you a neighbor? <laughs> I said, oh, I just have to go to the bathroom. But when I went and I, nothing happened, I was like, okay, well maybe I am. <sighs> so we um, got stuff together. They were coming. I was what? I was 15 minutes apart, five minutes, 15 minutes apart. So we packed my stuff up, we got in the car, and in the middle of a snowstorm, and I mean a serious snowstorm, we drove to the hospital. I'm like, oh my God, of course, why, <laughs> why? We had to drive slow, and I'm thinking, God, please don't let me have this baby in the car. But of course, no. I, we got to the hospital, made it to the hospital, and Chris was born that afternoon. Uh, my munchkin. <laughs> Looks like a little man. It was so much, I, I enjoyed those first eight months. And have being a mommy. He was a good baby. Um, it was fun dressing him and buying clothes and watching him grow and watching his personality come out. Children bring out things about yourself that you don't always like. He had to have been about four years old and the twins were only about three and a half months and I found myself yelling at him a lot. And I, so much so until Chris just stopped me one day and said, Carol, and I, and I rec, and I mean, I really didn't even recognize it until then. But the Lord began talking to me. Um, he He said to me, "I don't, I don't treat you like that. Don't treat him like that." I said, "Okay." But it was I recognized it was because I was seeing things in him that I didn't like about myself. And from that moment on, um, God began to deal with me about how he was raising me. And it helped me to raise him. It helped me to even see my son differently. <laughs>